Let us now understand what is meant by a three dimensional shape and what are the different parameters that we measure for 3D shapes. A 3D shape or figure is the one that is bounded by a number of surfaces or planes. These are also referred as solid shapes which have got length, breadth and depth. So if you try to understand the definition, a three dimensional shape or a three dimensional figure is nothing but the one which is bounded by a number of surfaces or planes. Now if you try to understand a surface or a plane is nothing but a two dimensional shape. So a 3D figure or a 3D shape is made up of a number of two dimensional shapes that is nothing but surfaces or planes. So whenever different surfaces are combined together, we get a three dimensional shape. And as given here, these are also called as solid shapes which have got length, breadth and depth or height. If you try to compare the 2D shape with a 3D shape, in a 2D shape as we have discussed, there is no depth or height. It is negligible or zero. But in case of a 3D shape, there is a definite depth or height. So these are the three dimensions that we have for a 3D shape. The length, breadth and the depth. Whereas in case of a 2D shape, there is only length and breadth but no depth or height. That means in 2D shape, the thickness is zero. But in case of 3D shapes, there exists some thickness for the given shape. Some examples of 3D shapes are sphere, cube, cuboid, cylinder, cone, etc. There are many more 3D shapes, but when it comes to bank exams, they generally concentrate on these type of 3D shapes. Now, what is meant by a sphere? If you can understand, a sphere is nothing but a perfectly rounded object. That's like a ball-like structure. So anything which appears like a perfectly rounded object or like a ball can be considered as a sphere. A cube is like a squared box, a box which is in shape of a square from all the sides. A cuboid is like a rectangular box. Cylinder as we know is the one which has got the base and top as a circular surface and it is bounded by a curved surface. For example, this pen here can be taken as a cylinder. The base is circle, top is circle and then there is a lateral curved surface. So such a figure is referred to as a cylinder. And cone we very well understand is the one where the base is circle but the top is a singular point. So a cone is like a special type of cylinder. The base is circle but as we move upwards the radius of the circle decreases and it converges to a single point. So circle becomes a point as we move from bottom to top. So that kind of a figure is referred to as a cone. It is difficult to draw all these 3D figures on a 2D surface like a board or a paper. Why? Because a board or a paper has got only two dimensions and hence we cannot put a three dimensional figure on this paper or board. But this is an angular view of a 3D shape. This as you can see is a cuboid which has got length, breadth and height. So this is the length, breadth and height. All these three may be different or may be equal. So such a figure is called a cuboid. This is like a rectangular box. Now if you try to observe this cuboid here is made up of six different planes. Four lateral surfaces or the four surrounding surfaces, the base and the top. So four plus two total six surfaces. So six 2D shapes will combine together will give us a cuboid. Likewise when all the length, breadth and height become equal it appears like a cube. That is like a squared box. Again, in case of a squared box or a cube, there are six surfaces or six 2D shapes. So that's how a solid is always made up of a combination of 2D shapes or it is bounded by 2D planes or 2D figures. For example, this cuboid as we can see is made up of six plane figures or six 2D figures where each figure may be a rectangle or a square. Similarly, a cube is made up of six squares, six 2D shapes which are like squares. Now when it comes to solids or three dimensional shapes, we generally measure volume and surface area. So let us understand what is meant by volume and surface area for 3D figures. Now volume as given here is nothing but the space enclosed. One simple way to understand what is volume is space enclosed. So volume is that quantity which talks about the space contained within the three dimensional shape. So as we have seen in case of area, area was surface occupied whereas volume is space occupied. Space is nothing but 3D and surface in case of area is 2D. So the 2D surface which is occupied is area. The 3D space occupied or enclosed is volume. So that's the major difference between area and volume. And volume is generally measured in terms of centimeter cube or meter cube. These are the standard units. So like as we have seen in case of area, we measure area in terms of meter square where meter square is the area of a square of side 1 meter. Here volume is measured in terms of meter cube. 
so 1 meter cube is the volume occupied by a cube of side 1 meter so again this cuboid here can be constructed in terms of number of cubes of side 1 meter each so the count of those cubes will give us the volume of the cuboid so that is the reason we use units as meter cube or cubic meter or centimeter cube or cubic centimeter and remember again it is not necessarily that it should be meter cube or centimeter cube these are the standard units otherwise it can also be in millimeter cube or cubic feet or feet cube etc the other parameter that we measure for a 3d shape is the surface area now surface area again can be of different types total surface area tsa lateral surface area lsa and curved surface area csa so let us understand what is meant by each one of them total surface area is the total area of all the surfaces for example in this cuboid we have got six surfaces so when we add up all the areas of these six surfaces we get the total surface area of the cuboid and we know that area is measured in terms of meter square or centimeter square so here again total surface area is nothing but a type of area so it should be measured in terms of meter square likewise lateral surface area lateral surface area is the total area of only the lateral surfaces lateral surfaces are nothing but those surfaces which are surrounding the object so the surrounding surfaces here are four so when we add up the area of all these four surfaces we get the lateral surface area which again is measured in terms of meter square or centimeter square and the last one here is curved surface area so in those solid shapes where there is a curved surface the total area of only those curved surfaces is referred to as curved surface area for example in a cylinder as we have seen this is a cylinder so where the base is circle top is circle and there is a curved surface so area of this surface which is surrounding the cylinder is referred as curved surface area and the total surface area would be area of base plus area of top plus the area of the curved surface so total surface area is the total of all the surfaces curved surface area is the total area of only the curved surfaces and lateral surface area is nothing but the total area of only the lateral surfaces with this we can clearly understand that the two types of geometric shapes that we have are two dimensional and three dimensional for two dimensional shapes we measure area and perimeter for three dimensional shapes we measure volume and surface area so friends make sure that you take up all the formulae of these different types of geometric shapes from the textbook and learn them by heart why because without these formulae we will not be able to solve the different questions from this topic of mensuration